In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying decimals. If we have two decimals, let's say, that we want to multiply, let's say we have 10.8 times 2. We have 10.8 times 2. Here's the uh, method that you use to multiply decimals. We'll write the two numbers on top of one another. And notice that I'm just going to write 108 and the 2. I'm not going to worry about the fact that there's a decimal point here. I'm going to worry about the decimals at the end. And I'm just going to do the multiplication. So I just write the digits 108 and 2. And usually I put the one with the least amount of digits in the bottom. Um, but it doesn't really matter. And so now we're going to times these. So now we multiply the 2 by the 8. 2 times 8, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So similarly uh, it, to adding and subtracting, we're going to put the 6 down. If 2 times 8 is 16, we write the 6 and we carry the 1 to the next column. Now carrying to the next column is a little bit different when we are multiplying. So 2 times 8 is 16, so we write the 6 and we carry the 1 over. And now that we've done 2 times 8, we now have to do 2 times 0. And what we're going to do with this 1 that we carried over is we're actually going to add it to the result of our product. So our next line is really going to be 2 times 0 plus 1, because the 1 is what we carried over from our first multiplication of the 2 times 8. So 2 times 0 is 0, and we have to follow our order of operations here. So 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And now we multi we've already multiplied the 2 by the 8, the 2 by the 0, and now we multiply the 2 by the 1, and we get 2. So we have 108 and 2. We multiply them. And you're going to get some more practice with this whole concept um, as we go through. And now what we do is we look to the original question and we say, all right, there's one digit here to the right of the decimal point, And there is no digits here. And even if it was a decimal zero, we still wouldn't have counted it. Okay? We still wouldn't have counted it. Counted it. If it was a 2.1, then we would have said that there was one digit there, or one decimal there. But now we have one decimal place in our question. If you listen to my language here, there is one decimal point in the question. That is to say that there's one digit to the right. And so there's one decimal point in my answer. And so what I do is I just write the digits, I do my multiplication, and then I insert my decimal point at the end. So 10.8 times 2 is 21.6. Now, it can, get, it can get a little bit more complicated that, than that. Let's try to make it a little bit harder. And let's multiply 3.4 times 2.6. Now, you notice in the end, in the end, the first number, 3.4, we say has one decimal place. And the second number, 2.6, also has one decimal place. So we know we just have to stack our numbers. We don't need, we don't need uh, decimal places in there. But we know the first number has one decimal place, and the second number has one decimal place. So we need a total of two decimal places in our answer. And now, the method here is similar, but we're adding a step here, because we've now got uh, ones and tens column in both, right? So here's what we do. We start on the right, and we multiply six times four, and we get 24. So we write the four, and we carry the two to the top of the next column. 
And once we multiply the 6 by the 4, then we multiply the 6 by the 3. And so the next line here will be 6 times 3, which is 18. But we have to add whatever we carried over from the previous column, so we have to add 2. So 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 gives me 20. And because I'm at the end of my number, I just write the whole thing. And so we've taken care of here the 6. Notice that we multiply the 6 by the 4 and the 6 by the 3 and so on. And now we have to do the same thing to the 2. We have to multiply the 2 by the 4 and the 2 by the 3. The one thing you have to remember here is as soon as you move one column to the left, as soon as you move one column to the left, you have to jog over one column in the next line where you write your numbers. So as soon as we move to the next digit, we always insert a placeholder of zero and we write our first result in this position here. So now we have uh, 2 times 4 is 8. There's nothing to carry over because it's less than 10. And now 2 times 3 is 6. Don't forget to add your placeholder as soon as you move to the next column. And you'll see this in the next example as well. And now we add vertically down. 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 8 is 8. And 2 plus 6 is 8. And remember, from our question, we had one decimal point there and one decimal point there. So we already determined that we need two decimal places in our answer. And so instead of saying 884, we make sure that there is two decimal places to the right, or two columns to the right of the decimal point. That's what two decimal places means. And our result is 8.84. So this is the big step here. You have to remember when you move to your next column, that is when we start to multiply the 2, we have to put in this placeholder. There's two decimals in the question, one from each, and so there needs to be two decimal places in our answer. And if we look now at one more, uh, one more example here that's even yet a little bit more complicated, we have... 5.76 times 3.1. So I usually put the number with the least amount of digits on the bottom. So I'm going to write 5, 7, 6, and 31. I'm not worried about the decimals, but how many decimal places will be in my answer here? Two from this decimal and one from this decimal which makes a total of three decimals, three decimal places in my answer. So I've now got to work through and multiply the one by each of these columns. And then I'm going to multiply the three by each of those columns. So the one times six is six, one times seven is seven, and 1 times 5 is 5. So I land up with 5, 7, 6. And now I'm going to work on the 3. I'm going to have to multiply the 3 through every number that's in the top. That's why I put the, the number with the least amount of digits uh, on the bottom here when I do my multiplication. And now don't forget, I'm moving over a column. And so I need to put that placeholder of 0. And now, uh, I'm just going to clean this up a bit. Now, 3 times 6 is 18. So I write the 8, and I carry the 1 to the next column. And now, I multiply 3 times 7. And so my next number is going to be 3 times 7, which is 21. 3 times 7, which is 21, plus 1. This one that you carry over, you have to add after you do your multiplication in the next column. So 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 is 22. So now I write my 2, and I carry 
this two to the next column. And now my last multiplication here, I just did that one. My last multiplication is going to be 3 times 5 plus 2. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. And now I have no more, uh, nothing more to multiply, so I just write the whole number in there, the 17. And that might look a little strange, but now we're going to add vertically down 6 plus 0 6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 8 is 15, and if 7 plus 8 is 15, we write the 5 and we carry the 1, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus the 1 we carried is 8, and we get, there's zeros here and here, so we get 7 and 1. And now, if you remember, if you remember, we had two decimal places in 5.76 and one decimal place in 3.1. So that's a total of two and one. So what should I do here? I just make sure that to the right of my decimal, there are three places. And indeed, 5.76 times 3.1 is 17. Point eight five six. So that's a review of how to multiply simple decimals.